I think there's a lot of confusion potentially. Carbon's a is a tricky it can be a tricky topic to understand. So actually demystifying the the topic of carbon as to what is it, how do we go about it, making it very simple. Um because a lot of the stuff we already we can value engineer from cost. So value value engineering from carbon is the same principle, just looking through a different lens. If we embed this from the very first stages, so from from your tendering there's already a question on actually how how can you reduce carbon? Sometimes there's a target, sometimes it's the question of actually how much can you reduce it by, which engages even further to actually explore other opportunities and how much actually the potential of, essentially, could you reduce all of it or 90%, why not? The success factors to working or achieving carbon reductions, um, I believe, are um, driving innovation, so embedding innovation within as soon as or as early as possible, also, early collaboration, so working within the um, early contractor involvement phases with our clients, also getting our supply chain involved a lot earlier, um, providing flexible platforms, whether that's through our contracts or our procurement strategies. Reducing carbon is a proxy for reducing costs, so one achieves the other. Um, this is something that is pretty much, it can be misconceived and um, certainly something that's not always obvious because it's not a term or something we're used to managing. Carbon's an invisible material. It's not something you can see, you can't quantify it as easily um, if you're not used to working with it. So there's a lot of focus around actually capturing the results, demystifying carbon as a topic, communicating this across the board um, simply, and then identifying ownership within the opportunities of how to do this. So leaders within the disciplines or different disciplines to drive this forward within their sector um, to, to achieve a greater carbon saving overall.